Yeah, good morning, YouTube. Um, wanted to make a video here on the Moonraker Wiz Loop uh, portable loop antenna for your 817. And um, really good antenna. This thing works very well. That's the supplied copper wire that comes with it. I've used it like this. It works great. But I'm an experimenter and I like to try. Uh, new things and stuff. So I made this loop, which is the same length as this, in stainless tubing. This tubing was in the dumpster, uh, used for oxygen service. It was an oxygen tube. Uh, it is tubing. It's stainless steel. Super light weight. As you can see, you can pick this up and hold it about. It's super light. Still very light <laughs> hard to focus on all of it still super light doesn't put any stress at all on these lugs and what this is going to do is actually make your magnetic loop more efficient and why that is is because the surface area of this is a lot greater than the surface area of this copper wire and what that'll do is give your antenna greater efficiency, therefore producing more output wattage. Um, you'll be able to transmit the full 5 watts, or pretty close to it. Uh, so when you're doing QRP work or low power, you know, when you're working with 5 watts, if your efficiency is down where you're only actually transmitting about 3 or 2.5 of those watts, it really makes a difference that last couple of watts. So basically, this adds a little bit more efficiency to your to your loop. Um, it's still lightweight. It doesn't put stress on the lugs. I've used it on my 817. Uh, it doesn't uh, tweak it or crack or make funny noises when you're when you're using it. And for the guy that uses his 817 inside. Uh, in a more permanent situation, this this will really aid in your uh, in, in your performance. Um, I hand bent this loop. I just took the time and worked it real slow and made this loop. I, I made it by hand. I didn't use tools or any kind of jig or anything. I just measured the length of the copper wire, uh, straightened it out, measured the length. This tubing was in was straight, and I measured the same length, cut it, crimped it, um, crimped the two ends at the top, and just drilled a hole just a hair bit bigger than, than the lug size, and you're good to go. So if you want to squeeze that little bit of extra uh, efficiency out um, by increasing the surface area of your element, and that's what you're doing. You're just the diameter's bigger. There's more surface area, and it really works for you know in in the home. Oh, uh, if you're using it permanent, it just you know same as always. Tunes, still tunes, still everything's great. Um, you know, it's not as compact as the copper wire. Of course, you know, you might be thinking about you know if I go out in the field, I got to carry the loop or whatever. That's cool, you know. Um, if you're doing some severe hiking or, or getting out into the wilderness, it, you could sling it over your shoulder or, or carry it. But if you're, you know, pulling up to the local pavilion or a little place where there's a picnic table somewhere where you operate, then you can just throw this on there and uh, it works absolutely perfectly. So uh, just another idea about <clears throat> modifying your whiz loop. Uh, these things do work. I have Talk DX on this thing. Uh, standing up, uh, been on a rooftop, you know, using the 817. I've actually used this antenna on a Cherokee AH100 handheld. Didn't stress out the the transceiver connection. Um, held it. Uh, you actually used the microphone built into the radio. Worked fine. Got about uh, standing 12 feet off the ground. Got about uh, 10 miles out of it. Um, so just another idea for using your Moonraker Wiz Loop or your Wonder Loop uh, to make it a little bit more efficient, get that little bit of extra oomph out of it that you need to uh, get the job done 
when working QRP a watt, a watt and a half, could mean the difference between being heard and not being heard. Um, I know it sounds insignificant, but when you're using five, six watts, you know, to be cut down in efficiency down to two and a half or three, you know, that could be sometimes 50% of your power. Uh, worth trying, but that stainless is lightweight, um, doesn't stress out the, the whiz loop, and doesn't stress out the connector on the radio. So give it a try. Form one of these yourself. Did it by hand, just worked it real slow in a loop, just, just took my time not to kink the tube, no tools, just sat in, in the living room with the TV and just worked it and, and got her like this. So another idea, uh, it does work. Give it a try, seven threes, and good DX.